Yo, what's up everybody? This is a tutorial on how to make a custom Vita lock screen and background templates for the little bubble area, the um the live area. Actually that's what it's called anyway. Um you might hear a little like shh in the background because of fans blowing. But anyways, um yeah, this is our beginning. What I did like this is our finished product here. This is what I did for mine. Uh, I'll put up a video after I run this. Uh, like all of these are custom, like from this logo here. I did that myself actually. It took a while, but I, it's just kind of off. But you, yeah, on the Vita when it's smaller, whatever. Anyways, would you make sure? What? Yeah, you don't have to make sure the image size, but the image size will be 960 by 544. I'll put the templates in the uh in the description down below. Uh as well as this one. This is for the last area screen. Um I'll, let's get to it. This right here is where the clock would be. So we're gonna keep that there. And what I'm gonna do right now is just take this out. Lay a VR copy. And hide that. And then what I'm going to do is zoom in here. No, first. So I can see a little better. Control zero. Uh, brush tool. Big as I want it to be. Give us a black background here so I can see what I'm doing. A little bit better. Okay. And what I did on mine was, it's kind of basic, but yeah, went in here, did that. Uh, let's see what I should do. Oops, wrong layer. Get back to the target layer. Scoot this over a tad bit. Delete that. Grab this. Delete. All right. Uh, Control D with deselect, and you will see like this little thing right here. Well, you can. I like really went in and just like deleted all of that, or I don't know why I didn't think of this before. You could just zoom in even further and select with the square tool and hit Add to Selection. Keep doing that. It's the fastest way I found so far. Hold on. Control Z is to undo. And Control Alt Z is to step backwards. That's if you want to like do multiple undos. You want to use Control Alt Z instead. Uh, I think I'll speed this part up. Alright, now that I've finished all that, just hit delete. Oh, select the layer, delete. It doesn't have to be perfect. Control D, Control Zero, and you don't see that little line down there. All right, what I did with mine was something so simple and easy. It's a uh, magic eraser tool. Click a couple times. Click outside a couple times. Make sure everything's gone. Field to zero. No. I also did this. So I can keep this here. Uh, hmm, go back to that. Uh, layer via cut at that. Go back to that. Oops, wrong layer. All right, control O, fill zero, blending options, bevel, all the way up, size two. 
I always put my global light in a 120 just because that's the way my logo global lighting is to fit the rest of the pictures I have. Stroke, it's, it's white. I'm going to do that to one pixel. Opacity to 75 to blend in. Uh, make it a little lighter than that. Let's say about 50. Okay. Then I did also did outer glow. Make sure that's F F F F F. Two three four five six. Size. You can make this actually how big as you want it. Uh, I like that one. I think I might change my Vita screen again. I'm kind of feeling that. I like how dark it is and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Then I'll open up my logos. Uh, uh, picture. The private folder is for the Wii. <laughs> it's not really private. It don't matter. Uh, YouTube watermark. No, it's for something else. Open. Well, I do need that open anyway, so I'll keep that open. Desktop, libraries, pictures, uh, logo. Let's go with this one. Yes, that's it. Okay. Gonna drag that down, click that. Get that there. Bring this down. Put this back where you belong. Close it out. Don't need it anymore. Uh, show transformation tools. Now you can hold shift to keep this proportionate while you transform. Apply transformation, of course. Do need this a little smaller. Open up. All right, what do I want to do here? Magic eraser. Erase that. When I was registered trademark, sorry, this is my custom shit. So fuck that. You know, love PlayStation though. All right, and then again, fill zero. Blending options. Oh, new layer. Make this all black. Deselect that. I'm sorry. Okay, we're still on the right layer here. All right. Inner bevel X. Try to keep everything proportionate too, so hmm.
gonna do to this is actually take this, put it there. Okay. Then I'm gonna get this image flip vertically, put it there. Okay. Okay, I'm done with that. No, who cares? All right. Hmm. Shift. I remember that one fifty nine by one twenty five. one here head over to the left a little more apply no 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 okay try to make this as close as possible and I think that's about perfect uh, okay swap that It's a little too big. Control Z. Okay. Filter. Blur. Uh, motion blur. Rasterize. Yes. Zero degrees. About 125. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. And let's go back. We want it a little brighter than that. Let's make another one. You can always just uh, copy the layer, but I don't want this one to be. See, that's not, I don't want it to be. I want it to be a little brighter in the middle. So we're going to actually zoom out again. Filter, blur. Motion blur, rasterize, yes. I'm not going to do 100. Try 80. Not enough. 50. Cool. All right. Then we're going to do to that one. Move it over to the left. Center it a little bit right under where it kind of meets. Okay. And trying to get layer 6, I believe that is. Yes. Add layer mask. Gradient. No. First. Delete layer mask. I forget it doesn't have a feel, so I'll have to fill it to uh, do what I'm trying to do. Hardness zero. Let's see what, yeah. Okay. So let's see if I do this gradient this way. Whoa. Layer mask. Yeah. That works. to match this one so gonna put some more on there a little more cool all right and we need these ellipse to merge those and we want to line it up with this one so Perfect. And actually, layer six should be a little closer to 
this one than the actual logo itself. Raise this up a couple. Okay. And grab this. Keep that there. This watermark back here. Okay. Actually, no, I did. Bevel that one. Smooth that. Two. Stroke. It's all the same shit over and over again. That's see. I couldn't add a stroke to that one. I remember now. So I did an inner glow. No? Oh, I forgot, I forgot. I made a new layer. So we're just going to change this one to That's pretty good anyway, so. Yeah. Right there. Then open. Size that up. Okay. Do apply yes. Uh, PSN logo satin, 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 satin. All right, and a blending options. I don't want an outer glow on that one. Let's take the back off. Inner shadow. Boom. Awesome. Alright. So that's finished. And close these effects. So I turn the satin also. About the rest of the rest of these layers. Merge layers. Shouldn't blur up. Okay. And that's it. That's it for the lock screen. Now we're going to do this background template. All right. Save that one. Save as ping to PNG, I mean. Then I'm going to upload it. I really didn't do too much to these. All I did was add a background layer. Oh shit. Hardness. Like most of the time, just just feel. I didn't even do nothing. I just hit bevel on the boss, and that was it. Okay. Storage layer style. Feel white.
Then we blur this one up too. Motion blur. Rasterize. Main D. Till it reach both edges. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Uh, then eraser tool. Add text. And that's about it. This is another one. I made this a little thinner. I like this one better, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and this ellipse can move over a little bit. Yep. But I had mine, the bubbles over a little off. So, like, before I started this tutorial, I moved them over a little bit. As you can tell, like, when I switch back and forth. So, this, this one. The bubbles on this one should be a little more accurate. Uh, and, yep, that's about it. Uh, you can do whatever you want to it. I'll, like, hold on. So I'm done with that one. No. Open it back up. Uh, Vita. PS Vita background template. Let's say we want to do something like a uh, favorite game like Zelda or some shit. Let's go to Google Image. Image. Uh, legend. like a good start screen I have some bubbles around save images blah 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 who cares and Gotta look for something to fill the bubbles. Let's try. Okay, now that we got those, you open that up. Uh, let's start it with an M. Okay. Mm. 
actually I'm going to delete that one then. Image mode open. I sort image adjustments, image size. And we're going to keep put this one down to 960. That way it'd be same height. Okay. Put this one on top. Awesome. Then we get links navy. Hey, listen. Okay. Gonna add that one a bit. Uh, I know it's a way to change the colors, but I'm not too keen on a color thing. Hold on. going to rotate this one. You know what? Just going to cancel that one. Put this one up here. Yeah, we're going to rotate that a little bit. See how it looks a little bit. And we're going to darken them up too to blend in with the background. Uh, okay. This one, let's close that one, merge, and we should be blue again. Yay! All right, uh, again, uh, open up the Navi again. Then we're going to do the her, just rotation, flip horizontal. And while we're here, we can just go ahead and Hue and saturation. We're going to make this one red. We're going to do pink, actually. I like pink. I like the way that look. Okay. Merge down. Put her on there. 
close that out. No, don't save. Turn that off so I can center this a little bit better. Okay. All right, bro, well, we need to figure out how we're going to blend these. First of all, what I want to do, I see the edges are a little too sharp. So I'm going to grab my blend tool here and go through and blur out the edges a little bit. I don't want to use the smudge tool because that will smudge up the edges, of course. All right, which one I'm looking at here. Okay. Then size it up a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just want to grab the outside edges. Inside looks pretty good, I guess. Keep it a little more realistic. Control O. Then we this color balance, I believe. No, 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 that's not it. Undo. Uh, where is it? There we go. Actually, I love the way that looks, too. Uh, you can go ahead and do that for all of them. I'm not going to do it due to time constraints, and obviously I don't feel like doing it. But, yeah, uh, you can go ahead and fill in the rest of the bubbles, how many ever you like. You can uh, do it on a certain size. I prefer to, like, keep three over here and three here. And what you can do is, like, instead of merging, you can actually just put this on top of these layers here see how better it looks this looks so much better actually uh, not gonna merge that one merge these together keep the background a little bright and that's about it uh, yeah, hold on. We need to. We can add something here for the. Uh, let's see what what we can find here. Legend of Zelda. Find half of his shield. Since this is more of a realistic background, we're going to go with that one. No, that's two pixels. That's a little too cartoony. Let's go to this one. Uh, for <laughs> never mind. Hyrulean shield. Try to find one as realistic as possible.
Blah, blah, blah. Like I said, it don't have to be perfect because, like, this is only a couple of pixels wide. And once you put it on the Vita, that's 960 pixels left and right wide. And on a smaller screen, it doesn't look as, as big. So... Don't know why I picked Legend of Zelda. Just the first thing that popped in my mind. Should have been Metal Gear Solid, because that's what the hell I love. Alright, I'm not going to sharpen out the edges, because I don't really feel like doing that. But, yeah. I'm going to put this here. Can't even see them anyway. Uh, gonna darken this one up too. And I'll upload this too uh, for whoever wants it. Photoshop style and. Um, Hell stuff the style called. It's a uh, ping format, PNG. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, love, to, love to do more tutorials. Just as I don't really like this is just for the Vita home and lock screen. Um, what you can do here, also, I was meant to tell you what you could do with the zipper is like what you here create. It's a little like when I get you the template, you'll see a little line going through. What you can do is grab this tool here, right click it, go to rounded rectangle tool. I'll say the radius should be around 20, between 18 to 25 pixels, and start here and create. Yeah, 18 pixels seems, I mean, 20 pixels seems about just right. And create a line going through like the perfect edge. And, uh, Rasterize that no fill I guess white stroke black points one enter rasterize and then you can start from there and create your own little thing. You don't have to have a zipper, you can make it like uh let's say stitches, barbed wire uh little swirls and like uh shit like little shit like this just swirls going through uh and then you don't have to actually draw them out what you can do is like get online and search brushes uh let's see for Photoshop, of course, you probably already know this by now if you're doing this. Anyways, thanks for watching the tutorial. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I like. I'm kind of feeling this one over here too. I might put this on one of my screens, but my Vita is already set up, looking like this through the whole thing. So, yeah, uh, uh, I would love to see what everybody else come up with. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Yo, what's up, people? I just wanted to show y'all my PlayStation Vita customization shit, uh, custom lock screen, and um, everything I did through Photoshop. What I'm gonna do is when I upload this, I'm gonna get on my computer. I'm uploading from my phone, but I'm gonna get on my computer and like um, put some links in there for the templates if you want to make y'all right here.
And I got my logo down here too. So, yeah. I think I should have put like something up there for a little notification bubble. I don't know. It don't matter. This shit look hot though. You can like do whatever you want. Yeah, that's pretty much it though. Just a quick video, short video. Uh, I'll put the templates in the in the description down there. That way you can fuck with it yourself. I would like to see what y'all come up with. Y'all can uh, post a video or something like that. Just inbox it to me or whatever. Yeah, all these logos and shit I made myself. Um, Photoshop. I'll make it. Sh I'll make sure the link is a Photoshop document. That way, you can edit all the layers and stuff yourself. Yeah, and that was pretty much it. Thanks.